Now we're going to try the full Windsor. This is a formal knot, and it's important to note that you're going to need a lot on the wide end. I sort of exaggerated it here, but make sure you give yourself plenty of room here. Again, this is my right hand, and this is my left hand. First thing I'm going to do is take the wide end and put it in front of the narrow end, and then bring it behind, just like this. So I have the wide end again in my right hand. I'm going to take the wide end and bring it in front of the loop and pass it through the same side. I'm going to take the wide end now and bring it to the left side. And just switch hands. So now I can bring the wide end through the loop and then back again to the same side that it was on. This is what it should look like now. I'm going to take the wide end and cross it in front of the knot. So the wide end to my right hand. And then bring it through the, behind the loop. And then down through this part. When would this knot be most appropriate? You would use this knot in formal occasions. I don't particularly use it too often. Also, in, when you're wearing a sweater and you want to make sure that you have plenty of fabric visible from the knot. Runs a little long. 